The global military balance is shifting, and with the J-35, China is clearly signaling that it intends to challenge U.S. air dominance not just on land but in the contested skies above the seas. China's J-35 fighter beats F-35C, becomes first stealth jet to be launched from an aircraft carrier using MLs, Fujian breaks U.S. Navy's monopoly, watch video. China has broken one more tech barrier which till date was the sole domain of the United States of America, and has gone a step further by becoming the first country to launch a stealth fighter aircraft from an aircraft carrier using the electromagnetic aircraft launch system MLs. The Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy in a video posted on September 22, 2025, successfully demonstrated Fujian aircraft carrier launching combat aircraft like Shenyang J-35 stealth fighter and J-15T fascia or Flying Shark using MLs. Videos and photos posted by the Chinese Navy on X show the Fujian using electromagnetic catapult-assisted takeoffs and arrested landings for J-35 and J-15T. The Chinese Navy also launched J-15D electronic warfare aircraft and KJ-600 cargo and airborne early warning and control AEWNC plane from Fujian. Before the Fujian show, the US Navy was the only force with the capability of operating aircraft carriers equipped with MLs. U.S. Navy's USS Gerald R. Ford is the first ship of the class which employs MLs, and the plan is to add five more such aircraft carriers, bringing the total fleet strength to six. However, USS Gerald R. Ford is yet to launch an F-35C Lightning II stealth fighter using MLs, making the J-35 the only stealth jet to achieve the feat the exact location where the test launches were carried out has not been disclosed but the Fujian was likely to be somewhere in the South China Sea where it was undergoing trials. PLA Navy spokesperson had on September 12, 2025, revealed that Fujian had moved through the Taiwan Strait and entered the South China Sea. China has border disputes with several countries along the South China Sea and regularly sends its warplanes and combat ships in the region. China also maintains that Taiwan is a renegade province which can be acquired through the use of force. Why is MLs important in an aircraft carrier? Aircraft launched from carriers face problems related to weapons payload and fuel capacity. In the more traditional launch systems, fighters are forced to take off with lesser weapons payload and fuel in the tanks. But MLs based catapult assisted takeoff but arrested recovery system uses electromagnetic force to launch aircraft from carriers. This ensures aircraft can take off with their weapons and fuel at their full operational capacity. As Fujian moves ahead to gain complete operational clearance, the U.S. dominance in the Pacific Ocean and seas around eastern parts of Asia faces a new challenge. The domestically built Fujian with its catapult-equipped electromagnetic catapult launch and recovery capabilities is a major leap for the Chinese naval shipbuilding industry. The capability to launch not only fighters like J-15T and fifth-generation stealth jet J-35, but also KJ-600 AEWNC aircraft gives China a massive reach over the seas and oceans. With Fujian, China now operates three aircraft carriers. The first two, the Liaoning and the Shandong. All the three carriers have conventional steam turbines and diesel generators, China is now moving ahead with deploying the Fujian operationally. The ship has a displacement of over 80,000 tons. In the world of fifth-generation fighter jets, stealth capabilities are often considered the defining characteristic, influencing an aircraft's ability to penetrate enemy airspace undetected and engage in precision strikes without exposing itself to advanced radar systems. The Chinese J-35, designed primarily for carrier operations, is emerging as a key player, with stealth technology that closely mirrors and in some areas may even rival the renowned F-35 Lightning II. But could the J-35's stealth outpace that of the F-35 and establish China as a formidable competitor? Let's explore this in depth. At first glance, the J-35 shares notable design elements with the F-35, particularly in terms of its shape and external features optimized for low observability. The J-35 is built with angular surfaces, internal weapons bays, and a reduced radar cross-section RCS to evade detection by enemy radar systems, much like the F-35. However, the devil is in the details when it comes to stealth, and there are several areas where the J-35 may have an edge over its American counterpart. The J-35 is believed to also employ advanced radar absorbent materials and stealth geometry similar to the F-35. However, given the design's heavier reliance on features such as twin engines and a more compact, somewhat bulkier airframe, 
It's plausible that the J-35's RCS could be slightly higher than that of the F-35, but still within the radar abating threshold for operational stealth fighters. The Chinese aircraft might also employ a different combination of RAM materials, potentially yielding a more efficient stealth signature. The J-35 features a twin-engine configuration, which, while offering improved thrust and reliability for carrier operations, may inherently produce a larger infrared signature than the single-engine F-35. However, the J-35 could potentially employ more advanced heat dissipation techniques and exhaust management similar to the Russian Su-57 or the F-22, aimed at minimizing the thermal footprint. One of the defining features of the J-35 is its design for carrier-based operations, which influences its stealth characteristics. Unlike land-based stealth fighters, which can be optimized for a broad range of missions, carrier-based fighters face unique challenges such as the need for rapid takeoff and landing in highly contested areas. Carrier-based fighters are often required to fly at lower altitudes to avoid detection and to make the most of the ship's radar coverage. At such altitudes, the ability to avoid detection by ground-based radar becomes crucial. The J-35 stealth, therefore, needs to be fine-tuned for both high-altitude and low-altitude performance, which could give it an advantage over the F-35 in specific combat scenarios, particularly in naval or anti-access area denial A-2AD environments. Both the US F-35 and Chinese J-35 use internal weapons bays to preserve their stealth profile while carrying air-to-air -air and air-to-ground munitions. The J-35's weapons bay appears to be optimally designed for its naval role, with the ability to carry a variety of munitions without sacrificing stealth. It is possible that the J-35, with its tailored design for naval warfare, might have an edge in its ability to carry heavier payloads at lower radar visibility compared to the F-35, which is optimized for a wider range of missions, including multi-role land-based strike operations. The global military balance is shifting, and with the J-35, China is clearly signaling that it intends to challenge U.S. air dominance not just on land but in the contested skies above the seas. Despite differences in design, including the J-35's twin-engine layout, China has seemingly leveraged cutting-edge materials, advanced infrared management, and possibly superior sensor fusion to craft a formidable stealth fighter. Should these technological advancements prove effective, the J-35 could indeed surpass the F-35 in specific areas, particularly in terms of its low-altitude stealth performance and integration with China's expanding naval capabilities.